Good evening. Just a month and a half after APS looked, looked for every possible way to cut its budget without letting teachers go, the district is in a big hole again. With word from the governor today that public schools could be cut another 3%, APS quickly did the math and realized it'll have to slice another $18 million and quick. Here's News 13's Jim Winchester. Well, Dick, six weeks after cutting $43 million from the APS budget, the superintendent now estimates that $18.8 .8 million more will have to be slashed by September. Now, Governor Bill Richardson announced earlier today government agencies, including public schools, would have to cut 3.2% from this year's budget. Superintendent Brooks learned of the cuts this afternoon and called an emergency meeting of district leaders, told them to start deciding what has to go. Following tonight's school board meeting, we asked him if there is any way that the district will be able to avoid layoffs this time around. It was miraculous, quite frankly, that we were able to save uh, jobs without giving pink slips. We, we did cut 430-some positions in the district, uh, but we did that all through attrition. Whether we can continue doing that or not, uh, I'm just not very optimistic. But I, I'd hate to really you know, comment one way or the other on that until at least I have a, time, a little bit of time to sleep on it and think about it. Now, the superintendent heads to Santa Fe tomorrow to confirm if the additional cuts will amount to $18.8 .8 million. He says Friday morning he'll meet again with district leaders and figure out what to do. Dick, back to you. All right, Jim. APS managed to cut $43 million by eliminating vacant jobs, increasing class sizes, and reducing individual school budgets. In his own words tonight, the superintendent says this time APS will have to look into cutting big-dollar items. And APS